laughing that I'm bringing this fucking camera. It's only like $5,000. Investment gone, man. The camera's only worth it. We're taking the camera! PD150. So out of date. It's just gonna be you. It would be shooting. What? I just don't have the energy to shoot right now. Like I want coffee. It's all about shooting, man. Coffee, man. You buying? Absolutely. We're at the airport for the next two hours. I'm gonna check that in the next three hours. We just landed in London and now we're gonna go clear customs find our bags, and take off uh, on the train. So man, how you feeling? I got no water left, I'm starting to use the brakes. I feel like I've been on this train for two days. Trees, get to the countryside, man. Go back. <laughs> Driving through Quebec, trees, trees and fields. We yeah, are about 15 minutes away from Newcastle. <coughs> I haven't slept in a week. All right, man, where are we headed? Okay. All right. Now we're just gonna try to get a uh, a metro transit bus or something to. Uh, the bed and breakfast that we're staying at, and then take off to the game. So, get a ticket? Not allowed to film? Not even personal? Uh, we have to go to the left right here. I'll show you pulling out too, man. That's all kind of trouble, man. All kinds of trouble. Canada, I get the right away. Ah, oh, jeez. We have to go this way, man. You've already forgotten how to get to uh, bed and breakfast, man. You've already forgotten. Just walk, man. Let me walk. Why can't you let me walk? You're getting too far ahead of me. Too far ahead of you, man. I'm 30 years old and I've been locked up and for 10 years. We should probably go down that way just to get a different perspective. I was at the Alan Shear bar and grill, right at the stadium, and I was in using the bathroom and the, the guy just said, said something to me. Anyway, she basically said he was from Dublin. He just said, what are you doing here? And I'm like, uh, I just came up to watch the Newcastle play. And he looked at me like, Newcastle? Why do you like Newcastle? I said, oh, Alan Shearer. He was just so curious about the fact that people from Canada would follow sports, soccer, in England. Football, man. Football. 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 That's what they call it over here in these parts. Get the, the pit, as I like to call it. What's the pit? Pit? The pit's costing us $130 a night. You should know what it is. The bed and breakfast that we're staying at? Yeah. So this is the bed and breakfast that the we're breakfast staying at. The breakfast is good, so they got half of it, right? Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's day three. And we just finished eating uh, our, our breakfast in the morning at the bed and breakfast, which is, uh, which is free. Comes with the, the night. And now we're heading off uh, to return at large clothing for an extra large, because the sizes are a little smaller here. He didn't try them on. I just paid $40 for a Newcastle jersey, Canadian, when uh, in, in Canada, I would end up having to spend something like 100 and. $15 on a jersey. And in the same buy, same purchase, I went out and grabbed the English jersey long sleeve uh, for what? How much did we pay? 14 Almost 15 almost 20 Taxes in. Taxes in. Can you believe that? This memorial is to the dead of the First and Second World Wars. 
non-obsequent obsequent conflicts? I don't know what that word means. There it is. He's killing a dragon or something, man. How's your uh, how's your foot? How's your foot problem? So it'll be the third day. What's your what's your foot update? Already gave it to you. What? Not giving it on camera. No questions. How come? Just give me an update, man. My foot hurts. What's in the box? Find out by feel. No, you go ahead, man. No, you go ahead, man. No, no, no. You wanted to be on camera. No, 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 no. no. You've been whining about being on camera, man. Hand it on. Did you just fart? Fart. Did you just fart? Absolutely. That stinks, man. Don't come any closer, man. You get a shot of me. You get a shot of this. Tell me, man, get your hand in there. It's rubber. It's just rubber. It's just rubber. It's the invention of the tire. See? See? These are tires. Tires. Watch the uh, the game from last night, Tim James Park. As you can see, it's in the background. So last night we were here and we watched a uh, soccer game, of course. Newcastle won two oil uh, run around. So anyways, here we are in the train station now, uh, getting ready to take off to Edinburgh. And uh, I'm just uh, pretty much waiting for somebody to come over to me and tell me not, I'm not allowed to operate the camera within the, uh, the train grounds. But anyways, you know, that's the, the chance you take uh, when you're trying to shoot some footage of a, of a vacation and you show up with a camera that's this big. Uh, the bed and breakfast place um, that we just came from, we stayed four nights there. Uh, very, very nice. The, the shower kind of sucked though. The TV was about uh, 8 inches. Uh, it came in static, 3 channels. Uh, but other than that, my, my bed was a double bed. So I, I, I guess I have to say thank you for sleeping in the single bed as opposed to the double bed because the double bed was very comfortable. As we all know that I'm taller so therefore I needed that extra leg room. Absolutely. I want 2 hours sleep right now. So we're going to be heading off to the Best Western, is it? Best Western? In Edinburgh, what was the bed and breakfast called? I stayed there for four days. You know what it's called. Nah, because you you organized it. What was it called? That's right. I organized it. Yeah, you organized it. What was it called? I don't remember. So he doesn't really know either. He doesn't he doesn't know what the name of the Best Western was. It was a very nice couple, two people, very very nice. I developed a blister on my uh, my right foot, just on my little pinky, uh, which I popped last night. So hopefully it's you know dried up and healed. Develop something on his left foot. Uh, we don't. I don't know what it is. He doesn't know what it is. It's just pain. But he had the pain before he came here. But it's worsened because of uh, because of how much walking we've been doing. He laughs about it. Laughed. So he's gonna. That's not funny. It's not funny. Just laugh at people. You can see you go into a hospital. Just point at people. Just walk through each room and laugh. So anyways, that's not right. Hours. Was it that bad this time, the story? Actually, that was probably a pretty good replica. Do you want to tell us about some of the other problems that you have? You snore. <laughs> no, that's not a problem, man. That's a problem. It's number one. It's cold, too. <sighs> Holy fuck, man. Fucking stop avoiding the camera, man. Stop avoiding the camera, man. You missed it. It's your job to make sure that happens. And I know. Tell me about your coffee problems, man. Coffee sucks. Fuck. The guy just sits here and fucking complains and complains and complains and pushes and pushes. And I tell him I'm going to turn the camera on. He fucking goes all cold. I think you're the mm -hmm. complainer. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tell me about your coffee, mm -hmm. man. Mm-hmm. How bad is your coffee? Mm -hmm. What'd you get? Mm -hmm. We got two trains, man. One train's going east, the other's going west. Train A travels at six miles an hour. Is your coffee any good? No, it's shit. Just like the last one, we got a coaster with shit. Yeah, you wanted to go back for some reason. Why is that? It's a different person making the coffee, man. It's a different person making the coffee. How many times did we go back to that bad Tim Hortons place, man? Ten times, man. They kept making bad coffee. We gave him ten shots, man. 
Costa, the company that makes the coffee, deserves eight more chances. This is five bucks. At least four. And he didn't pay the five dollars I did. Do the conversion. I wouldn't pay anything for it. I want to be paid to drink it. Mm-hmm. 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 Don't cross me, man, or I'll do that. There we go. So we just arrived in Edinburgh, and now we're gonna go try to find a tourist bureau or something. Try to find out how to get to uh, the lodging place and has uh, checked this into. Right? Lodging. Yes, absolutely. Do what? Oh, you, you, you slide that through. Can you do that? Is that what you do? I got something to tell you. I know we're four days into the fucking trip. Actually, it's more than four more than four days into the trip with maybe five days left, but I have no money left. I guess we're going home. I guess we're going home. But in order to change our plane ticket, can can you pay the hundred dollar fee to get the tickets changed so we can leave tomorrow? Absolutely not. What do we do? We pause the camera. So we're at the, uh, the Edinburgh Castle, man. See a view. So uh, I came, I came this way to the left, and apparently there is no view. So we're gonna head back in. I never said I wanted to see a view. I never said you wanted to see a view. I wanted to see a view. I want to see the jewels. Show me the money. There's two things in here that we're not allowed to videotape, and uh, one of them is the jewels, and the other is the war memorial. I'm sure there's got to be a Starbucks in the, uh, the castle grounds, right? I mean, this isn't the 18th century anymore, is it? Uh, pointed out that there is coffee nearby, so we uh, we shall partake in a little bit of uh, caffeine. When you made coffee this morning, you didn't make me one. Why is that? You enjoyed that coffee too, didn't you? Citadel Hill. This is like Citadel Hill, except it's bigger. That's probably why we're called New Scotland. He has found the Scottish whiskey uh, distillery. And so, of course, you know, him being a Scottish whiskey loving Glen Levitt person, we shall check it out. The Edinburgh Zoo. You don't see anything. You see anything? I see you. So, we haven't seen any animals yet. We've been in the zoo for what, 15 minutes? Uh, and then I looked over and I saw a giant rhino, really big. And he's looking at me right now. Fuck, I feel... Oh, thank you for mentioning that, man. Fuck. I would have missed that, too. It's a big animal, animal, man. It's a big beast. It's a fucking big animal, man. You know what? I missed out on seeing, uh, uh, what's that little duck-billed platypus in Australia. I missed out on seeing him. I was, in the, I was next to the aquarium and I didn't see him. And seeing this white rhino makes up for it. Just like that one extra trip, oink, makes up for it. That is a big animal. I saw that girl platypus in Montreal. I didn't see it. Yeah. What is that? How do you feel about the air here? The air's better here. Yeah? A little bit. A little bit. Taking a deep breath, man? A little smoky when we get in, though. Well, it kind of smells because we're at the zoo and there's lots of animals. So it kind of smelled like you did for the last couple days. If you know what I mean. Well, and I think that you do. So we're staying at uh, Best Western. 
uh, in Scotland, Edinburgh. And uh, we've upgraded from our last residence, which was in Newcastle, Newcastle uh, which was like a bed and breakfast. Uh, no shower pressure, very small toilet, very small everything. And anyways, we've essentially upgraded, which is a beautiful thing. For how much are we paying at this place? 49 pounds, okay. Yeah. Divide that by two, and it's not too bad. Just checking out stuff. And we're tired and out of breath because we just climbed a freaking mountain. Bucks last night to see uh, see a little uh, theater show called Saturday Night Live or Saturday Night Fever. Saturday Night Fever. Bum, bum, bum. Now you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a ladies man. No time to talk. St. Paul's Cathedral. St. Paul's Cathedral. Uh, we don't really know what that is, do we? It's a cathedral. It's a cathedral. We don't know what goes on inside, do we? It says. Church. <laughs> Say that again? Church? Church. Church. I don't believe him. Do you believe him? I don't believe him. I believe him. Wet snow. And after the wet snow, we had uh, clear skies. And after the clear skies, we had rain. And after the rain, which is right now, we had cloudy skies. Overcast. Slightly overcast. With a chance of showers came through the afternoon. Up west, we've got nothing but sun for the rest of the day. The famous word Starbucks. We've walked about, what, 11 miles? A long way. We see a Starbucks every, every block and a half. So we've probably counted about 11 of them now. And, uh, and another thing that we've noticed is uh, there's no garbage cans. Like, I mean, you know, it's very clean. The area is very clean. You know, cigarette butts and all that kind of stuff on the ground. That's not a big deal, but um, no garbage cans. You know, walk about, you know, 9, 10, 11 blocks uh, with a Starbucks co coffee cup in your hand. We're finished drinking it. We're looking to get rid of it. Uh, we can't find a garbage can. There are no garbage cans. We got here to London and uh, walked up to one of the, the booths, the information booths, and it was a very quick process to find a place to stay. Um, the cheapest place uh, is costing us 55 pounds a night. And that's the cheapest place we can get. We get breakfast included. And so we got here and we have four days left, and uh, this room, this apartment room, is unbelievably small. The free breakfast comes with the room, and so when we were up in Edinburgh, we had a free breakfast, or uh, sorry, Newcastle, we had a free breakfast, and uh, it was awesome. It was like sausage and eggs. You know, ham, it was, you know, mushrooms, tomatoes, da 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 da. It was just, it was awesome. So we came here, went downstairs for breakfast, and uh, uh, she pointed to the cereal and I said, Oh, no, no, I'll, I'll skip the cereal right now. You know, do you have eggs and bacon? She goes, No, one egg. And I went, oh, Okay. So we waited, and she came by and dropped off some toast. Uh, like, you know, five pieces of toast, and uh, she dropped off a hard boiled egg. So I just dipped in the hard old egg, ate it, and then sat around and waited, and, and that was it. That was. <laughs> One egg. It was. Uh, that was it. What do you think of the uh, the combinations that uh, we were uh, pressured into taking? Yeah. The way it goes. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Could, could always be worse. So that. So this. Over here is Buckingham Palace, and this is where the uh, the Queen stays. And uh, while she's in London, these are her residents. And uh, it's right there. That's her. It's right there, man. Right on my finger. Did you miss that? Totally missed miss that, man. It? Totally. Now I gotta, I gotta flee. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. Fuck the wind up. I'm looking at the camera, so. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Can you step out of the shot for a second? 
that is part of Buckingham Palace, right there. He's once in too, man. He's flagging pedestrians right now. He's telling them exactly where to go. There's so many around. What's up? No, no, no. Step out of the shot. Oh, it's always a clown, man. It's always a clown. Uh, we just spent a. Uh, Spent the day exploring London again. Uh, this is the second day we've been here. We've been walking for quite a while. Uh, haven't t we took the subway once, but uh, through the entire day up to this point, since nine o'clock, we've been walking around. I've got a blister on my right foot, my pinky. So we're both totally exhausted. Uh, we're gonna go back to the room, have a shower, change clothing, take a nap for about an hour or so, and then head back out again and uh, explore a bit more. But we've uh, accomplished quite a bit today anyways in terms of sightseeing in London and the weather has been uh, all over the place very sporadic from uh, rainy windy snowy to uh, sun which is which is what it's at right now it's very sunny out but it's still cool it's still pretty cold anyways we'll see how uh, the rest of the afternoon goes mm -hmm. 